Okay, in this video, we're going to go over something called the triangle congruence theorems. And basically, and this is covering common core uh, state standards for high school geometry, congruence uh, standard B8. Okay, so let's just get to the actual congruence theorems. And there's three of them here. There's the side, 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 or also known as SSS. There's the side angle side, which is known as SAS. And then there's the angle side angle, or the ASA. I just wanted to demonstrate how these look in a practical problem, okay? Now basically what, this, what these theorems say is that you can prove that two different triangles are congruent, which again, remember it means equal, if the sides of each of the triangles are equal. So here's a typical example. Let's say I have this figure cut in half, so I have two triangles here, right? And I know that this side and let's say that side and that side, and let's just do that, okay? Let's say we know that this side is congruent with this side, okay? So this side of the, this triangle is, is the same as this side of this triangle over here. We also know that there's a second set of sides that are also congruent. And then there's a third set of sides that are congruent. So side, side, side. If that's true, that means that these two triangles are congruent. Okay? So if I were just to label them, let's do this, A, B, C, D. I would say that triangle A, B, C is congruent to triangle B, C, D. by side, 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 okay? So that would be like the proof that I would write for that. Now the side angle side <clears throat> is very similar, except that there's a slight difference in how it's written, right? And then the order of what is congruent. Now what you'll notice here, and I'm gonna make this a little bit different, there we go. According to this one, the order has to be side and then angle and then side of a triangle, all right? So like this little corner part right here, side, angle, side, has to be congruent to the same side, angle, side of a second triangle, or SAS, side, angle, side. If that's true, again, let's go ahead and make our marks. I could say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle D, C, B by side, angle, side. Now again, remember that the, this is what's important. Sometimes people don't get this. The angle that is congruent has to be between the two congruent sides, okay? So here it is between these two sides. The congruent angle has to be between the two congruent sides, okay? And finally, let's just go to the last theorem. And this is angle side angle. And again, you'll notice how this works. I'm going to make these angles the same. So according to this, the angle side and angle of this first triangle is congruent to this same one where it goes this angle, the side, and the angle. Okay, so angle side angle. And we'll call this one D, E, F. And we would say, therefore, that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle um, D, E, or D, F, E. Okay, so that's briefly what the three congruence theorems, and this is part one, there's, a three, there's three others that we'll talk about in another video. Okay, so I hope that was a brief summary for you. Let me just go ahead and give you a, a quick problem, and then you tell me which one of the three, um, which one of the three conver uh, convergence theorems would probably be applicable here. So let's do this. Okay. Okay, so here I have triangle, or two sets of triangles. 
And according to my congruence marks, it looks like this angle is congruent with this angle. Let's just actually let me just change that just up a little bit. So this angle is congruent with this angle. This side is congruent with this side. And this angle is congruent with this angle. And I know that because they're just vertical angles, right? So the question is, which one of the three theorems proves that triangle ABC is congruent with triangle CDE, right? And if you said angle side angle, this one over here, you'd be correct. So triangle ABC is congruent to triangle CDE by the angle side angle. Okay? I hope this was helpful as a demonstration.